Hello everyone, and welcome to my YouTube audiobook summary of The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Stephanie Meyer is an American author who was born in Hartford, Connecticut in 1973. She graduated from Brigham Young University with a degree in English literature. After college, she worked as a stay-at-home mom for three years. In 2003, Meyer had a dream about a human girl named Bella Swan who falls in love with a vampire named Edward Cullen. She was so inspired by the dream that she wrote the first book in the Twilight Saga, Twilight. The book was published in 2005 and became an instant bestseller. The Twilight Saga has since become a global phenomenon, with over 100 million copies sold worldwide. The books have been translated into 37 languages and have been adapted into a successful film franchise. I'm so excited to be sharing this series with you. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Bella Swan is a 17-year-old girl who lives in Phoenix, Arizona with her mother, Renee. Her parents are divorced, and her father, Charlie, lives in Forks, Washington. Bella has never met Charlie but she decides to move to Forks to live with him after her mother remarries. Bella hates Forks. It is a small, rainy town, and she doesn't know anyone there. She is lonely and bored, and she doesn't fit in with the other kids at school. One day, Bella meets Edward Cullen, a mysterious and handsome boy who is actually a 104-year-old vampire. Edward and Bella fall in love, but their relationship is complicated by the fact that Edward is a vampire. Edward is a member of a coven of vampires who live in Forks. The Cullens are vegetarian vampires, which means they do not drink human blood. They survive on animal blood, and they try to live in peace with humans. Edward and Bella's relationship is forbidden. The Volturi, a group of powerful vampires who enforce the vampire laws, would kill Bella if they found out about her relationship with Edward. Edward and Bella must keep their relationship a secret. They also must face other challenges, including James, a vampire who wants to kill Bella. In the beginning of the book, Bella is not interested in vampires. She is a normal teenage girl who wants to go to school, hang out with her friends, and have a normal life. However, everything changes when she meets Edward. Edward is everything Bella is not. He is mysterious, handsome, and dangerous. Bella is drawn to him like a moth to a flame. She knows that he is a vampire, but she doesn't care. She is in love with him. Edward is also in love with Bella. He has been watching her for a long time, and he knows that she is the one for him. However, he is afraid to tell her how he feels. He knows that their relationship is forbidden, and he doesn't want to put her in danger. Eventually, Edward can't keep his feelings for Bella a secret any longer. He confesses his love to her, and she confesses her love to him. They begin a secret relationship, but it is not without its challenges. James, a vampire tracker, is obsessed with Bella. He wants to kill her because he knows that she is Edward's weakness. Edward and Bella must team up to stop James, and they are successful. However, the battle takes its toll on Bella. She is injured, and she almost dies. In the end, Edward and Bella are able to overcome all of their obstacles and live happily ever after. They get married, and they have a daughter named Renesmee. Bella is turned into a vampire, and she and Edward live together in peace. Twilight is a love story that will stay with you long after you finish reading it. It is a story about love, loss, and the power of the human spirit. If you are looking for a book that will make you laugh, cry, and think, then you should definitely read Twilight. New Moon is the second book in the Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. The book follows Bella Swan as she struggles to cope with the loss of her vampire boyfriend, Edward Cullen. After Edward leaves Bella to protect her from the Volturi, a group of vampire leaders who would kill her if they found out about their relationship, Bella is devastated. She becomes withdrawn and depressed, and she struggles to find a reason to live. Jacob Black, 
a werewolf who is also in love with Bella, tries to help her through her grief. Jacob's presence helps Bella to start to heal, and she eventually begins to fall in love with him. However, Bella's happiness is short-lived. The Volturi arrive in Forks to investigate rumors that there is a new vampire coven in town. Edward is forced to return to Forks to protect Bella, and the two lovers are reunited. In the end, the Volturi are convinced that the Cullens are not a threat, and they leave Forks. Bella and Edward are finally able to be together, and they begin to plan their wedding. New Moon is a story about love, loss, and the power of the human spirit. It is a story about how even in the darkest of times, there is always hope. Here are some of the challenges that Bella faces in New Moon, grief, Bella is devastated when Edward leaves her. She struggles to cope with the loss of her boyfriend, and she becomes withdrawn and depressed. Loneliness, Bella feels isolated and alone after Edward leaves. She doesn't have many friends in Forks, and she doesn't know how to deal with her grief. Anger, Bella is angry at Edward for leaving her. She feels betrayed and abandoned, and she doesn't know how to forgive him. Hope, despite all of the challenges that she faces, Bella never gives up hope. She knows that she will find a way to be with Edward again, and she is determined to find her way back to happiness.